hey natural beauties welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is clarissa and today is all about edges how to maintain them how to grow them and how to keep them strong and healthy so if you want to have healthy edges make sure you watch this video and don't forget to like share subscribe and put in your post notifications so you know when i upload new videos so let's get into it So let me show you guys what my edges look like. Okay guys, before I talk about how to get healthy edges, let's talk about some different things that you may be doing that you don't know that is actually damaging your edges. So let's start off by talking about bonnets. A lot of people wear bonnets, including myself. And there are many types of bonnets. You see there's bonnets like these, and there's bonnets like this. But if you notice, inside of your bonnet, all bonnets has this um, elastic piece inside, all of them, including these. So even though they may say they're satin, you might have something on the inside that's like this. And what happens is, when you put these caps on, like this, nine times out of 10, the cap never stays like this. It always rides up because we're sleeping and this part is steadily rubbing on your edges. And when that continues to happen over time, that will break your edges. So what I normally do when I wear my caps, I turn them inside out. So that way, so the satin part will actually be rubbing on my edges and not this part right here, the stitching of the cap. You don't have to necessarily wear a cap. You can also get like a satin or a silk scarf and you can just wrap the scarf around and that'll do the trick as well. The second thing I wanna talk about is wigs. Now there's a lot of people who wear wigs and sometimes they're put on right and sometimes they're not. And when they're put on wrong, I've seen so many times when the glue is actually applied to the front of the hair and it actually gets the baby hairs in there and instead of wetting the area around here just to loosen up the glue, I've seen people just pull the wig off, which is a no-no. Now, when you think of your baby hairs, your baby hairs are the most fragile hair you have. So when you're doing any type of hairstyles or wigs or anything like that, you have to be very careful that you're protecting them at all times. The third thing I wanna talk about are braids. And you know sometimes you go and you get your hair braided and you notice that the hairdresser has braided your hair super tight and it hurts. You have to make sure that when you go to these hairdressers, they know what they're doing when they're braiding your hair. And not only that, if something is too tight, you have got to let your hairdresser know that it's too tight and she needs to loosen it up. And if she can't loosen it up, just don't do the hairdo at all. I mean, today I have my hair slicked back in a bun, but I try not to do it all the time. I know the high bun with the baby hairs and all that is in right now, but you don't want to do that hairdo all the time. You have to give your hair a break because what you're doing is every time you're pulling that hair back not only are you pu actually pulling the skin on your forehead back so you're making your your so you're making the skin on your forehead go back you're actually pulling all these baby hairs too so you have to be careful that when you're doing that high bun that you're not pulling it as tight so the fourth thing i want to talk about is the gels and the edge controls. Gels and edge controls are fine to use sometimes, but you don't want to use them all the time because those products can actually dry your hair out. If you're on a journey to grow your edges back, you might want to cut back on your use on edge control. But if you do use edge control or gel, you want to make sure that when you're finished for the day that you just don't brush them out. What you want to do is you want to get a bottle of water and spray your edges down really well to loosen up the gel or whatever edge control that you're using 
you're not pulling those baby hairs out when you're brushing your hair back now that I've talked about the things not to do let's talk about the things that you should be doing for your edges So one of the things that you can do is use oils. There are so many oils out there that help to stimulate hair growth. You can use peppermint oil, you can use lavender oil, you can use rosemary oil, but I use this right here, and it's castor oil. And it's 100% organic castor oil, and as you can see, it says it's conditioning oil for hair, lashes, and brows. This is what I put on this is what I put on my edges every day. I put this on my edges every night before I go to bed. And not only do I use this on my edges, I use it on my eyebrows and I use it on my eyelashes because this castor oil will help your eyebrows to grow and your eyelashes to grow. Now I put it on my eyebrows because back in the day I was an over plucker. So now I'm paying for it. This castor oil has really done a great job with helping to grow my eyebrows back and grow my edges. Try to find a hairdo that doesn't put as much tension on your hair. Like, um, if, if it's possible for you to wear your hair out, because I wear my hair out a lot, or put your hair in twists instead of braiding it because the twist has less tension in it than the braids. So try to find a hairdo that doesn't put as much tension on your edges. And you'll see in no time, your edges will begin to grow. I hope So let, the last thing I want to talk about is shampooing and clarifying your hair. If you can shampoo your hair once a week, you should at least try to shampoo and clarify your hair at least once every two weeks. By shampooing your hair, this will allow your scalp to be clean and clear from all the buildup and it give your scalp a chance to breathe and not be full of gunk so your hair can actually grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, put on your post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!